This is becoming the Democrats' Watergate. Who knew it? When did they know it? And what did they do? So you're going to see a lot of damage going forward, and they're inflicting it themselves. I think President Trump has played it smart. The Republicans have played it smart. Be quiet. Let the Democrats hemorrhage it on themselves. Okay, that's uh, former Speaker Kevin McCarthy with us a bit earlier this hour, weighing in on what, how he sees the... Um the game as it's played at the moment now. Democrats turning on President Biden, some of them dividing the party, sending their coalition uh, into disarray. Maine Democratic Congressman Jared Golden talked a lot about the president. Uh, he told a newspaper in Maine, quote, I will not vote for someone if I don't think they are physically or mentally equipped to lead this nation, and I do not know the answer to that question at this time, end quote. Tulsi Gabbard, former Democratic Congresswoman from Hawaii, and good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, Golden good morning. also said um, if Trump wins in November, he's okay with that. Which, which might be a reflection of his district in upstate Maine, because there are a lot of Trump voters uh, from where he comes from. How do you see it right now, Tulsi, and good morning to you. Hey, good morning. It's good to see you both. I, I think it's crazy that it's seen as an act of courage for a member of Congress to say what is so clearly obvious mm -hmm. to anybody who's paying attention, to the American people. Uh, you know, I, I think what has what become very clear to the Democrats is obviously they don't care about Joe Biden. They don't care about the interests of the American people or our country. If you listen to the things that the DNC chair is saying, hey, stop talking about Joe Biden. Focus on defeating and criticizing Donald Trump. You hear Bill Maher saying, hey, I'll vote for Biden's brain in a bottle before uh, I vote for anybody else or vote for Trump. Whoopi Goldberg, you hear this same refrain where they don't actually care about Joe Biden. All they care about is defeating Donald Trump, which should beg the question, why? Why don't they actually care about the issues and the interests of the people that matter? They see Donald Trump as the biggest threat to the power of the Democrat elite. And that's a big red flag to all of us, to the American people, that they will do whatever they believe is necessary to try to beat Donald Trump, defying uh, the rule of law, the Constitution, and, and the interests of the American people. I feel like with Congressman Golden saying that he needs assurances on Biden's South before he'll vote for him means that he already has his answer on what those assurances are, and he is not reassured. There's also the question then, okay, then if what happens, right, if Kamala Harris were to be put forward as the nominee or even become the president uh, before the election, the headline in the New York Times is, for Kamala Harris, the challenge of getting ready without getting ready. The ABC hypothetical head-to-head -head matchup of just adults, this is not registered or even likely voters, saying Biden would be 46-47, Trump up just a point, um, Harris over Trump by three, um, again, it's, that's just adults, not registered or likely voters. So you've been on stage with Kamala Harris. You saw that tension between her and, at the time, former Vice President Biden. Do you think she is getting prepared for this? Uh, you know, first of all, if you are the vice president, uh, your job description is to be prepared to be president on a moment's notice. So. The fact that even the New York Times is even raising this question, is she getting prepared or can she get prepared, is very revealing and again shows the truth, something that I have said since 2020 when, when we were both running for president in that Democratic primary. She is not prepared and is not capable of serving our country as president and commander in chief. She wasn't then and she's not now. That's, that's very, very clear. But also, whether it's Biden at the top of the ticket or if they elevate Kamala Harris to be at the top of the ticket, either way, if the Democrats win, uh, we will see a President Kamala Harris. That is certain. Uh, what, what is also true is just as we've seen with Joe Biden, who is incapable of serving as our commander in chief today, that will continue with Kamala Harris. We'll, we'll, we'll see those unelected people who are behind the curtains actually making decisions about our country and our foreign policy will continue to be the ones who remain in power, which, which makes it so that we as voters are not able to hold them accountable. And we'll continue to see the disastrous policies, both here at home and disastrous foreign policies that have made us less safe, closer to the brink of nuclear war and on the verge of wars with Russia and Iran and China and North Korea, making us far less safe. Tulsi Gabbard, thank you for coming on. Um, at one time, you said the country should be afraid of Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. That's strong language. That is still true today. Wow. Uh, thank, thank you for you. your time. We'll Good talk down you. the road. Thanks. Thank you.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.